guys, it's Katina with Atomica Nuclei Tin Jewelry and today I am going to show you how I use a blackener on some of my jewelry pieces. So if you have visited my Facebook page where I have all my, my jewelry for sale, you'll see that um, the Deli Embossed Collection uh, has a, a black finish on some of it, okay? And so to do that, I use this really fabulous um, chemical called Jack's Pewter Blackener and it's very easy to use but you want to take some precautions because you want to use gloves and you want to use it in a well ventilated area and um, so after you you can put it on a couple different ways and I'll go over that and then um, you'll want to um, use do something to stop the chemical reaction okay so I have already poured some of the blackener into this bowl right here and then um, there's you can either just immerse it in to um, the blackener or you can use like a q-tip and apply it to just the areas that you want to and then when you're done um, you'll put it to stop the chemical process you'll put it into another bowl and this one is water and baking soda and it's just um, about 50 50 that's it to but this is going to stop the blackening all right so what I have today are these two earrings and I'll show them to you so it's a red plaid tin and I have embossed a couple of deer scenes, and then I have sanded away um, the, the uh, paint on the tin. So it's pretty silvery right now, pretty silvery, and what I want to do is give it an aged look, so we're gonna turn it black. So after I sanded it, I was sure to wipe it down. You can use soap and water, or I just use a wet ones wipe with some alcohol in it and just really um, get all of your sanding goop off of there. And then I'm gonna put my other, put my other glove on and then, so you see this is rusted. This is what Jack's Blackener will do if you don't stop the chemical reaction. So um, I need, these are the pliers that I use every time I use the blackener, so that's the way they look like that. And to store the blackener, um, you'll need to make sure the lid is tight, but then you store it in, a, in, in another plastic bag before, and before you put it away. And don't store it near things that are metal because if something happens, it could, it could totally rust your metal. Okay, so we're gonna take that and I'm just gonna immerse this whole piece in there and let it just kind of sit in there and then I'll pull it out. Okay. All right, and then if you see this, see it's blackened it. So I'll use this. Now, if, it, if this wasn't as black as what I had wanted it to be, I could always just set it aside and then once I saw it was as black as I wanted it, I could just then dump it into the baking soda and water to stop it. This is pretty good. So um, I'm gonna put it in there and it'll stop that process and then we'll take this guy. See, it's pretty silvery. We're gonna dump him in there the same way. Let him swim around there. Now don't keep the Jack's Blackener after you're done. Like I just poured a little bit, just enough that's going to um, cover my pieces. You can, you can, uh, if I, I could have just used a Q-tip too, but this tends to be a little bit faster. Okay. All right. Take a look at this one. So, and that's what that guy looks like. So it totally makes it black, gives it an aged look, um, which for some pieces, it just makes it look really cool. Um, anyway, and I thought the plaid with the deers was a nice combination. So when I get these um, finished, then I will post a picture of them. I'm gonna pull them out and I'll take, I'll take these inside 
and I will actually wash them with soap and water just to make sure to get all the chemical off. Put it over there on my wash rag because I don't, you know, don't want to leave any chemical residue behind. But this is what they look like when they're done and I'll make them into earrings and they'll be kind of a neat, neat scene for earrings. And then um, of course I'll spray them uh, and I spray them with um, my spray clear enamel. I'm trying to think of where it's at. Here it is. Uh, crystal clear enamel is what I spray all my products with. Some type of sealant. And then I'll make them into earrings and I'll post them. Um, so now you guys know how some of those embossed designs that I like the Deli collection, um, you, now you know, it's an, actually it's a chemical reaction that I um, use to make that metal look black or aged. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to check out some of my other items, um, everything I have for sale is listed on my Facebook page, Atomica Nuclei, and everything is handmade by me, and it's all out of tins, cookie tins, tea tins, trays, that sort of thing. So y'all have a great Sunday afternoon, and I'll catch you later.